come down here to my studio. I'm very excited about showing you this technique today. Basically, this is a resist technique using the ultra high gloss clear embossing powder from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And I'm also going to use their um, swirl stamp. I love these swirl stamps. So let's get playing. First thing you're going to need is to have a piece of tissue. This technique can actually work on cardstock also, but I'm going to do it on tissue because I'm actually going to rip the tissue and put it on a piece of glass and make this really cool vase or it could even be a votive candle or whatever your imagination comes up with. But this technique can be used on a piece of cardstock. So grab your tissue paper, cardstock, whatever you're using. And I want you to also have your stamp ready. I like to have a tidy tray ready. You can actually get this also at Viva Las Vegas Stamps at stampo.com. My clear embossing powder, excuse me, clear embossing ink, and my clear embossing powder. Again, I'm using the ultra high gloss clear embossing powder. First thing you want to do is ink up your stamp. Now this is a clear ink and we are stamping on a white piece of tissue paper. So guess what? You ain't going to really see it. But just trust that it's there. I usually stamp two, maybe three images before I start putting some um, embossing powder on there. But it all depends on your area and how hot it is. And I just literally go in and just pour just a little bit right over that area that I know that the stamp is on. And I'll let it sit there while I'm still working. I'm going to ink up some more. Great tip I probably showed you guys before, leave my lid upside down so I can just easily just put my um, ink pad right on top of that. And I don't even have to worry about it. Okay, there's probably enough on there. So now I'm going to basically just walk the embossing powder over all the images. That I have stamped. And when you do this at home, go ahead and finish this whole piece of uh, tissue here. I want you to, you know, stamp it all and get the embossing powder on the whole thing. Then you're going to grab your embossing um, gun. Again, you can get a Viva Las Vegas stamps. And I want you to heat emboss those images. Now even though the embossing powder is clear and the um, tissue is also white, that image actually does show up pretty well because of that ultra high gloss embossing powder from Viva Las Vegas is really awesome stuff. It really shows up really nicely. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I actually am going to show you another video in the future on how to change the color of it. How cool is that? Okay, now I only get so much time on YouTube, so I'm probably not going to be able to finish this. So I'm going to just do one more image and then go on to the next step. Plus, you guys don't want to watch me stamp anyways. You all know how to do this. If you don't, over there at Viva Las Vegas Stamps, I have some videos on some very basics on how to stamp. Okay. Now what's great about these tidy trays, this is my favorite thing. I can take the lid off here. It's got a great little hole down here and I just pour it all back in there. No waste, all good. Put my lid back on and I'm ready. Okay, let me heat, heat these last couple images I have. Okay, I 
am working on a Teflon sheet. I adore these Teflon sheets. Um, they're great for protecting your workspace and they can be cleaned up really easily. Probably the only downfall on them is you can't cut on them. I have done that one. That's why I'm stressing it out. You can also get these um, Teflon sheets over at Viva Las Vegas Stamps also. Okay. Now, I'm going to just rip off what I didn't use here. Put that to the side. Okay. Now, I'm going to... One piece didn't emboss, so let me get it real quick. There we go. All better now. That's what's really great about this high gloss. You can really see if you missed a spot. Now, I am going to protect my work surface with a box. But, you know, whatever... You can actually do this outside also. Whatever you need to protect your area. So I'm going to kind of put this tissue into a box. And I'm using Memory Mist. It's basically one of those inks in a bottle that you can get. I'm using three different colors. Because as you know, in art, threes are a really good number to use. Odd numbers in general. Um, one, three, five colors are really good on the eye and great for the eye. So anyways, uh, a couple hints on these. If your spray is not working well, make sure you clean that little nib. That's usually the problem. Anyways, I'm just going to go in and just do a quick spray in a couple spots. Now, if you don't want your inks to bleed or muddy, I should say. You want a heat set just in between. Now I'm not doing a huge heat set. I'm just kind of quickly drying it. And then I'm gonna to switch to another color. Again, I'm gonna quickly heat set that. Now, if you were doing this at home, you wouldn't have to get out the heat and gun. You could just let it dry in between. I just have the, you know, the time thing going here so I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances so now I got my last color on there my purple because most of you who know me there's only one color in the world and that's purple okay I can get rid of my box dry this up real quick Again, if you're at home, you can just let this dry. You don't have to use a heat gun. And as you see, I'm keeping that heat gun moving really quickly. And that's because I don't want to melt that embossing powder again. Okay. Now, here's the resist part. If you take any, um, you can use a napkin, whatever you have at home. Even a piece of paper will work. And you just want to go over those areas that I embossed with the clear embossing powder. And you'll see that the ink comes right off of those images and gives you that embossing powder. Oh, love the look. Okay, sorry, I'm getting excited. Look how cool that is. I hope you guys can see that on camera. Can you see how cool that is? Okay, now what I did on the glass to actually make this image, to make, you know, to cover it with glass, really super simple. I like to use PPA, Perfect Paper Adhesive Gloss from um, US ArtQuest. You could also use um, Mod Podge. I usually use the gloss on this. And I'm going to put some out on my Teflon sheet. This is why I love my Teflon sheet, because I use it all the time. And I like to use a foam brush for this technique. And what I do is I literally just rip the tissue into sections usually pulling out one of those images that I embossed just like that so I'm going to rip this into sections and then I go on to my um, jar glass jar actually I'm going to start a new one here glass jar I get these at the 99 cent store really guys I really do or even a um, a yard sale or an old piece of glass that you have around because it will basically cover a lot of things and then I just take my Teflon, my um, tissue. Actually, I need a little more adhesive on there. So I'm doing a really nice thin coat of the adhesive on there. And then I just go in with my image and I lay it right into that adhesive. 
Now you could have this really, um, you could wrinkle this if you want, or you could keep it really smooth. It's kind of whatever look you're looking for. And see how this is turning out? Isn't this cool? Okay, so let me grab another piece. Rip off another piece for myself. And I like to overlap these pieces, actually, because it looks really nice when you overlap them. Now, oh, I don't like to have a lot of straight edges, I have to admit that. Let me pull off this corner. Okay, much better. So, I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, and just overlap that. Again, taking my brush, going right over it. Now, be careful with this um, tissue paper because this is really, it's tissue paper. It's really, really, um, what's fragile is the word I'm looking for. Now, you just keep doing this until your whole project is done, overlapping each of the layers, and you get that great look. I hope you guys can see that. Let me pull this one up. Because this one's dry. See that image? Isn't that cool? Thanks for stopping by my studio. Take care.